What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video on high altitude investing. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Binance, ADA, and Litecoin. Before we get started though, if you are not a subscriber to my channel already, go ahead and hit that like button as well as the subscribe button and comment down below if you have anything to say. Sharing this video with your friends helps me a lot as well as joining the Discord helps you a lot to learn trading and get started with your investing today. So without further ado, let's get straight into the analysis on the markets. So as you guys know, I've made a few videos recently about how I am bearish on cryptocurrency. And I hate to be the bearer of bearish news, but today I am still bearish on cryptocurrency. And I'm going to give you guys the technical reasons as to why I am personally bearish on the markets. So starting with Bitcoin here, we are in the two day time frame, and I'm looking at the big picture Elliott wave structure. You guys, we already made a big picture one in a two wave since the bull market started. That was the whole rally in 2019, where we saw the move up to 14,000 and then the move back down to about 3,500 or actually let's see what that exact price was 3,798. You guys, that is a one in a two wave. Now what happens after one in a two wave according to Elliott wave theory? Well, if we look in the sub waves of this big picture three wave, we can see a one and a two and then a three wave came. So just like this is the big picture one and a two wave, this is a big picture three wave that is currently painting on Bitcoin. So what am I expecting? Well, what happened between the three and the four wave is a correction because that's what a four wave is, is a corrective wave. So what I'm expecting inside of Bitcoin, you guys, is a four wave correction. That means we will drop, we will reject at some point here, we're going to reject and we're going to see lower support levels tested. I'm not going to get into exact prices of those lower support levels, due to the nature of my VIP program, the targets and the updates that I'm making in there for them today. But you guys, you have to understand that according to Elliott Wave Theory, according to everything that I know about technical analysis, we will see a correction. So no, I am not FOMO buying, and no, I am not changing my position, and no, I am not changing my trading plan. I'm sticking to my trading plan, and I'm sticking to what I'm seeing in the markets. Nothing has changed. You guys, if we go to the 12-hour time frame here, I still see bearish divergence forming in the MACD. You guys, this is overextended. I expect this price action to see a reversal. We're going to reject. We're going to test these lower support levels. I do not trust this FOMO one bit. So that's kind of my thoughts on Bitcoin, you guys. Definitely in the big picture, we should see a four wave correction and then return to the bullish trend and start heading back up. You guys, I am not a perma bear. I'm not expecting us to drop down to 9,000. I'm not expecting us to start a massive bear market. I am expecting a healthy correction because of a five wave impulse after one, two, three, four, five waves up after a big picture three wave, as you guys can see, one, two, this is a big picture three wave. We need a big picture four wave to form inside of this market, and I'm fully expecting it to happen. I personally think the wells are driving the price up as high as possible to get as many people as possible to FOMO, as many people to continue to remain bullish on Twitter, to, re to remain bullish on all of the major platforms, and I fully expect us to see a correction here inside of the markets. You guys, my analysis on Ethereum has not changed. We still have dropping volume, bearish histogram divergence, and a rising wedge forming in price. This is a perfect rising wedge pattern. Literally textbook rising wedge pattern. I fully expect us to retest major support. 
We recently broke the all-time high. If it does anything like what Bitcoin did in 2017 when it broke its all-time high, it retested its previous all-time high as major support before returning to its bull trend and starting a massive move on the upside. So you guys, I have no reason to be bullish on Ethereum. I'm fully expecting a bearish reversal, a correction, a healthy correction before we return to the bullish market. You guys, Dogecoin has not changed one bit for me. In fact, I'm still just as bearish as I was when I made my video yesterday. You guys, this is a false breakout. According to everything I know about technical analysis, we have absolutely no volume on Binance. We have major Ichimoku resistance. This is an ABC up correction. We did not see a five wave impulse that would suggest an actual breakout. There's still the downward pointing resistance of this channel. See this wick here, this wick here, this wick here, this wick here. That was a liquidity grab for the bears. The bears are still bearish. And you guys, if we go up to the four day candlesticks, you guys can quickly see that we have so much exhaustion up here at the top of the market. Good luck getting through that. Good luck getting through that exhaustion. We will test lower support levels. I'm very confident in this, you guys. I expect these lower support levels to be tested. And then, yes, we can reaccumulate and return to our bullish trend. But you guys, I do not expect Dogecoin to see a reversal. And I am sticking to my bearish position here on Dogecoin. You guys, I am not, however, suggesting that you go and short all of these markets. I reduced risk so that I can buy the dip. That is my strategy. That is what I personally see as being the smart move inside of these markets. And although nothing that I'm doing is financial advice, it's my personal trading journal, that's what I personally did. I reduced risk and I'm ready to buy the dips. You guys, that's personally how I see the market. Dogecoin, in my view, is very likely to fail this support level and very likely to test lower support levels before returning to its big picture uptrend. From an Elliott Wave perspective, you guys, Dogecoin has done, let me see if I can get the whole kind of picture here on the six hour time frame. maybe we'll get it. Dogecoin has done a one and a two wave correction, a three and a four wave correction, a massive impulsive five wave. What comes after an impulsive five wave, you guys? An extended fifth, usually, well, Every single time I've ever seen an extended fifth, it leads to a massive corrective wave. So the corrective wave pattern that we're seeing inside of the market is called a flat correction. It's when the A wave and the B wave and the C wave all reach the same point. So the five and the B wave test each other at the same point and the A and the C wave test each other at the same point as well. That's what I'm expecting in Dogecoin is a flat correction. It's a very common Elliott wave correction and one that I've seen in cryptocurrency before and one that I personally think Dogecoin is forming currently. You guys, if we go to the smaller time frames here, there's still no reason to be bullish on Dogecoin absolutely no reason. There's massive Ichimoku resistance. There's no volume on the breakout. We have no real signs of a bullish reversal. You guys, Binance coin, there's so much FOMO across the board in all of the markets right now. If we refresh coinmarketcap.com and just quickly run over the different coins that are FOMOing, we can click on the 24 hour time frame. You guys can see Raven, Ren, Binance, Theta, Pancake Swap, all of these coins are FOMOing right now. People are FOMO buying the market. They're scared they're going to miss out. And they're really ignoring all of the technicals that are suggesting a reversal inside of the markets. They're ignoring the rising wedges. They're ignoring the five wave structure. They're ignoring the technicals that we see when we have a reversal inside of the market. This is not a big picture reversal. This is a healthy correction before we return to a big picture upward trend. You guys, I personally think the ADA is going to see a four wave correction. We have exhaustion on the eight day candlesticks. This to me looks like a bull trap candle forming inside of the market. We have declining volume still, and there's no reason that I'm personally bullish on ADA. 
Binance also has this massive exhaustion wick on the top. This looks to me like a bull trap candle. And I personally think we will see an ABC corrective wave inside of Binance before returning to a big picture trend. Now, what about Litecoin, you guys? Litecoin, I personally think we'll also see a correction. If we go down into the smaller time frames here, you guys can see that Litecoin is also making a five wave structure currently. Let's just go ahead and use maybe the 12 hours so we can get a little bit of a better picture here. And you guys, you have to give the market a little bit of room for FOMO. It's natural for the market to move a little bit higher than maybe what you initially expect or maybe what you're thinking it's going to reverse at at the exact point. You're not trying to call the exact top. You're expecting a four-wave structure because of Elliott Wave Theory, and that's what I'm expecting in Litecoin as well. You guys, this is a one and a two-wave right here, and then we have a three, four, and we're forming that final fifth-wave structure inside of Litecoin before we likely see a bearish correction and then a return to the big picture uptrend. There's also a stock that I really, really like checking when I'm doing analysis on Litecoin because it's very similar to the structure inside of Litecoin. It's not exactly the same, but it's very, very similar to the structure inside of Litecoin, you guys. So if we look at Qualcomm and we check out what Qualcomm did, this is the similar kind of pump that Litecoin saw during the whole craze in 2017, the same correction, then we got a recovery, one, two, three, four, five impulse, and then we got another correction, just like we saw in Litecoin, and then we saw a move up out of the market, we started head up towards major resistance levels, people got really bullish, and then there was a massive correction, another correction back down to major support before we finally started to break out inside of the market. And with Litecoin, I see the same thing happening, you guys. This to me is a corrective wave structure that we're going to form. We're kissing up to the same areas of resistance that Qualcomm saw, the same points, the same areas of resistance. And I expect Litecoin to see a bearish reversal at some point soon, you guys. We're going to see a correction. We're going to see tested support levels, and then we can return back to the uptrend and start heading on the upside. So overall, you guys, nothing has changed for me. I'm still expecting a dip. I'm still excited and ready to buy the dip. It's going to be a very, very profitable time as we move inside of this market back down to major support levels. It's going to be a very exciting time. And you guys, I personally I'm not going to change my trading plan because what I see personally is very, very clear to me. You guys, when we break major resistance levels inside of the altcoin market cap, inside of the cryptocurrency total market cap, you know what happened in Bitcoin last time we did this? I'll show you. This is what happened in Bitcoin last time we broke the previous all-time highs. We had corrections. We had this correction right here. As we kissed the all-time high, we had this correction. When we broke the all-time high again, we had this correction. Once we hit 3,000, we had this correction. Once we hit 5,000, we had this correction. A correction is inevitable, you guys. We're going to have a correction inside of these markets. It's going to happen. We're going to see an ABC corrective wave onto major support, and then we can return back to our bullish trend and see further upside. This is just plainly how I see the market. Ethereum is one of the biggest indicators of this for me with the declining volume, the bearish histogram divergence, and all of the indicators that I'm seeing suggesting bearish price action in Ethereum to come. So that's my video for you guys. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the like button. Share this video with your friends if you're learning something. Make sure that you guys send me a Discord message, an email to join in the VIP. Today, actually, my first female, at least confirmed female millionaire student reached out to me and let me know that they reached a million dollars. That is so amazing. So huge shout out to her. It's been really awesome to see her journey and her growth through the cryptocurrency markets. And that's just an example of what can happen inside of the VIP group, you guys. So make sure that you guys check that out in the description box below awesome to hear you guys making profits, changing your life inside of my VIP group. Make sure that you guys reach out to me, 
like I said, via Discord message or email to join inside of the group, and I can help you guys get set up today. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. I look forward to seeing you guys in future updates. Happy Friday, everybody, and as always, stay profitable out there.